It's very dark. The sun has, I'm going to say, literally disappeared. It was really warm earlier. It's been such a lovely day. Oh well. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thank you so very much. If you're new, my name's Rosie. I generally upload a couple of times a week lifestyle vlogs hauls. If you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm just trying to grow my platforms. I'm also over on Instagram if you'd like to give me a following over there. I generally upload my stories daily. And yeah, I know it's a little bit premature, but please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So, I'm in a dress. Because the sun is out, why not? First is a first. Um, <laughs> I've actually been doing a few bits and pieces from my Instagram, so yeah, I just thought, why not? Um, I've been to Iceland, I feel like I've not been to Iceland in absolutely ages, but before we get into it, how is everybody doing? How are you all? I feel like I've not seen you in absolutely ages, although I know I have, but I think it's because I'm used to doing videos at the start of the week and then usually at the end of the week. But it is the middle of the week and in all honesty it's because it's taken me like I'm going to say this long just to recover from working over the weekend. Um, if you're new to my channel I work weekends, I do 14 hour shifts, um, I am a senior carer. Um, yeah so absolutely shattered come Monday but I'm chuffed because this Monday is a bank holiday so means I get to chill with my kids. Is anybody doing anything nice for over the bank holiday weekend? If you are, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, Iceland, £149. I have tried to stick to the deals. Three for ten, ten for ten, <laughs> um, three for three, that kind of thing. And I think it was like any three for five, you know, like all that kind of stuff that's, that's at the moment. Um, I have to be careful because I'm kind of down a freezer. I have a big box freezer. Um, I did have two freezers, so I used to be able to buy a lot more. I've cleaned the freezer out today, just a few bits and pieces. I've got so many packets of fries because I keep buying them and then the kids aren't eating them. Um, I didn't realise, so <laughs> I haven't bought any fries today. I didn't need them. But what I have bought is, I'm just going to get into the haul. So this is generally... I normally top up my freezer for, I'm going to say like, it, it'll last over um, probably like three, four weeks. Um, it's £150. We are a large family of nine, just in case anybody is new to my channel. Um, and we generally, what, so what I'll do is, is, is I also shop um, fresh as well. The stuff that goes in the freezer is there just for like as and when we need it but I like to have I don't know about you guys but I like to know that obviously that the freezer's full and in all honesty the freezer hasn't been full for a while um because I've not been to Iceland for a while and I just wanted to give it a bit of a break because you know when you're sick of buying the same old stuff over and over again that's what happens I get bored with shops and I get bored with the shopping and stuff so I tend to kind of like alternate between different supermarkets um so grab yourself a cuppa, get cosy, or grab yourself a snack, whatever takes your fancy, a drink of juice, water, um, and let's get into the haul. I'm just going to turn this around. There we go. Um, first things first, I'm going to start with. So I've got semi-skimmed milk. There is actually another six pints of that knocking about somewhere, but my hubby so kindly made me a cuppa when I came in, because um, I hadn't had one all morning, because we ran out of blooming milk. Um, and then he's been at a meeting for work and stuff so we've not had a chance to get to the shops and stuff and we've got Jaden off at the moment um, because yeah we've got a meeting tomorrow with the school I'll update you in a moment for that um, Vimto added sugar I mean no added sugar what Vimto added sugar cool Vimto no added sugar I've just got a small bottle this is blood orange with a citrus twist because Jaden actually really likes um like oranges and orange juice and stuff and I tend to find that my kids do like that as well well the other kids like that as well so I just thought it would be a nice little change grab that and um, I think it's like about two pounds a bottle um then let's get into the deals and stuff so I picked up some Greg's 
sausage bean and cheese melts now these were any four for ten so i grabbed the cheese and bean melts and as we go through i'll obviously explain and kind of like remind myself what i've bought and stuff and let you guys know as well um luxury eight cheesy hot dogs pigs in blankets i've not had these before my kids love sausages and stuff so i just thought we'll try these um i won't be trying them but the kids will um hopefully I'll maybe stick them in a roll or something like a bun with some like sweet potato fries or something like that and they can have them just as like yeah if i don't want to cook fresh and stuff and say like my husband's been at work as well it helps him out a, a deal as well um sausage curls for cumberland sausage curls i normally buy these fresh from um we've got like a couple of I'm going to say large chain butchers where I live. Um, we haven't got small, I've got one small independent one. And in all fairness, they are quite expensive. Um, when I go to them, I can spend a small fortune. Obviously, as a family of nine, it tends to cost me a lot more um, for fresh meat and stuff. But spotted these, these are new in Iceland and it was three for 10. So I grabbed two boxes of these and that one. Um, Majestic's because these are new as well. Is anybody else a sucker for anything that says new? Um, yeah, I have to have it, I have to try it. Birthday cake, Majestics, I got these for the kids. These were on offer, the Magnums, um, and the sun was out, so I thought, why not? These are like two pounds, I think they should have been about three pounds fifty. These were in the, I think these were in the, um, these were just in the reduced one, which everything was reduced. Um, these are white chocolate and mango and coconut so you best believe i'm gonna be having myself one of them very very shortly barbecue rib strips i lost my, my thought then for a minute you know when you're just like oh my god because now i'm too busy with thinking about the noise um guys i apologize for the noise if it bothers anybody there's not much i can do obviously it's plastic so yeah just just be aware <laughs> um chicken strips again something else that's new these were in the three for ten i think everything's like most things are three for ten or three for five you know um yeah if you shop in iceland regularly then you will know yourself um chicken breast fillet strips barbecue rib flavor so i've grabbed them chip shop curry this is the harry ramsdon's um i've tried the salt and vinegar ones i can in all fairness say the stink and if you like vinegar, they're all right. They're not bad, but they're not great. Um, just my own personal preference, in all honesty. Um, so I'm going to try the chip shop curry ones because I do like a bit of chip shop curry. And they're battered jumbo pork sausages. And again, the kids love sausages. Um, just some plain breaded. Sorry, guys, it'd help if I kind of took my camera out properly and actually got on the thing that I'm talking about chicken breast um breaded strips don't give your day a job of pros and um, don't worry I won't I can't afford to <laughs> salmon and broccoli pea risotto I got this in my last Iceland haul and it was actually so so nice um absolutely loved it I need to remember to not put my finger in front because my camera will focus on my finger mozzarella gnocchi um I'm gonna try that again that's new and it was three for ten so then I just grabbed this cheesy chicken and broccoli pasta again this is for like when I'm at work or my husband's at work um and we're tired and we can't be bothered to cook and sometimes the kids eat different at different times to us especially when we're at work and things um and then otherwise i generally do like to cook fresh but let's face it we all like a break every now and then chicken mince this is for the dog so buddy gets chicken mince he's got lamb mince and then he's got steak mince and um, this is the lean five percent fat one because i've noticed if i buy the normal mince as it starts to cool down it gets that layer of thick fat and honestly it's not good for humans so it can't be good for dogs um, so i've just got yeah i'm, I'm going to try and stick to the um less fat percentages but again it was three for ten and i'll just chuck them in the freezer and use them as he needs it um breakfast patties cheese double cheese breakfast patties who doesn't like a breakfast patty there's going to be somebody one of you guys are going to say well i don't <laughs> i apologize if you don't um but my kids love the sausage patties and they keep asking me to get them and nowhere else that i've found at this point in time actually 
their sausage patties don't taste like the Iceland ones. Um, so I just grabbed two boxes of these, I think they're like two pound a box, and then I grabbed these ones which were again about two pounds, two pounds fifty a box. I do have the receipt somewhere. If the price is wrong, my lovelies, I do apologise. Um, sweet chilli chicken strips, bleh. sweet chilli chicken strips, that was a mouthful. Um, I, that was to go with the other chicken strips and bits, £10 for three. Um, corn beef, this was one of the deals for the Greggs. Corn beef bakes, got a couple of those. In all fairness, I need to stop being so lazy and just start making my own. Um, I keep saying this, but I just find that there's not enough hours in the day. Um, a boneless chicken box, I think the kids are going to have this tonight because Xander did ask for chicken burgers. I haven't got any chicken burgers. So I think I'm just going to do them the boneless chicken boxes. I picked up two of those. Now these were £5 each. Um, but again we are a large family hence why I got two. So they can have one tonight and then possibly one another night. Um, vegetable bakes. I absolutely love these. They're really really nice if you've not tried them. Um, yeah definitely give them a shot because they're really nice. And at four for ten. You, it, it's not actually that bad um, and then I've got some knobbly bobblies because these were reduced I've got two packs I think these were like £1.25 each these are in the reduced freezer so I've got two of those I've got three lots of uh, chicken dippers because my older kids will live on these um, literally if I let them so I've got three anyways three for ten and then Majestic's on a stick can anybody remember these like the Viennas you know, like the um, ice cream Viennas in the boxes. I remember getting them at school for like pudding and stuff. These are new. So I grabbed them. I like £2 a box. I'm going to try them out. Retro ice lollies. Um, take me back. <laughs> um, wild red shrimp. I got, again, it was three for ten. So I got a pack of those. And then I just got two packs of king prawns. Um, move these out of the way. I got pizza pockets because it was three for five pounds. So I just got the cheese ones and two of the pepperoni ones. Um, because these are good for like lunches and stuff, and um, or even just like a snack. Shove them in the oven or the microwave, depending on how fast you want them cooked, and you're good to go. Um, and then these. I don't know if any of you guys have tried these, but they're just like Iceland's little um. Oh, what's them crisps called? It happens to me every time. I can't remember. Anyways, yeah, Pringles. It'll, there you go. Iceland's version of the Pringles, but they're in little plastic um, packets, a pound. And I just thought, you know what? Like, good for pack lunches and snacks and things. Um, so I grabbed some of them. I mean, in all fairness, my idea was to just have a pack in the car because, as they say, you should never go shopping when you're hungry and I haven't had my lunch my lovely it seems to be getting a bit of a habit um so I'm gonna grab something when I get when I finish doing this haul and stuff and I'll probably eat it just while I'm editing um papita now I'll do something similar to these so I just thought you know what grab them and then grab them ones so we've got the milky ones they're biscuits and you get six packs and then these are the caramel ones and I just thought you know what they're a pound I would normally get them out of Aldi but I think in Aldi they're a little bit more expensive so yeah a pound um three for three or oh, they were like one pound 25 each so I got the smooth and creamy mayonnaise because I'm always running out of mayonnaise garlic mayonnaise because the kids absolutely love garlic mayonnaise and i know i could make my own but sometimes you know it's easy just to get out of a jar that somebody else has already made and sweet chili sauce absolutely lovely i've tried this one it's really really nice i'm not sure about this one and yeah but i'll give them a shot but they were on deal so i grabbed them um this is another deal the tgi fridays it was two mains and two sides or two mains and two puddings so i just got two mains and two sides for a tenner um this is the snacking box it's got cajun onion rings chili cheese bites mozzarella sticks and a honey barbecue dip very very nice and then to top that off i told you the sun had gone down it's absolutely rubbish so we've got a triple pepperoni sharing pizza this is just for the kids it's the ultimate loaded this is new and this one's new as well um 
the light in my kitchen is absolutely rubbish. Ultimate barbecue, loaded cheese feast, and again, well, this one's the deep pan. In fact, they're both deep pan, so that yeah, but they're both deep pan pizzas and some small rolls. Um, because I used to buy these and I've not seen them for absolutely ever, so I thought I'd grab some of them for the kids. 16 pack, and I can have one myself because I do like these um, as a little treat. And then again, Aldi do something similar to these, just 10 bars um, of the and is it yet yeah, the Nutella Nutella um the little bars again a pound for ten just grab them some just little treats for the kids chicken fingers with a chili mayo that was one of the other sides for the TGI Friday um and then just some mac and cheese three lots of the pulled pork mac and cheese my protein and again those were like three for ten and this is actually like really really nice um if you've not tried it and you want some like you're into like your protein and stuff like that try it because it's really really nice and they do other different ones as well um some of them are all right it's kind of like a hit and miss i think um and then some of them are all right if that makes sense and then just the final part of the greg's four for ten sausage rolls because Xander absolutely loves sausage rolls normally I pick up the pack of eight but I thought I'll just get the pack of four um, and that'll do and they'll be quite happy with that so yeah so that was my Iceland haul mm. has it gotten any better I'm not 100% sure um, I'm just going to turn this one guys so there we go has it gotten any better I've just, I've just asked that, haven't I? I'm repeating myself. I'm not sure. I'm just going to grab my cuppa. Has it gotten any cheaper, kind of? I'm not sure. If you're on your own, I don't know how well it would work. Um, I know in the past when I've shopped at Iceland, I know a few of you guys have said, like, on your own and stuff, it can be very expensive. And I do understand, because um, I haven't always been... A, a big family and I have had to shop for times when there was just myself when I was younger and obviously you know so I mean in this day and age your food prices just kind of like go up and up and up and we don't seem to be kind of seeing any reprieve Um, I shop in Iceland it works for me if I had to do it on a weekly basis it probably wouldn't and this is why I tend to mix and match I shop fresh and then I also shop frozen because I just know that I've got the stuff in my freezer. Um, for anybody, sorry, I'm just turning, I'm, I'm just aware that my husband's got something cooking in the oven and that it's going to start beeping at us any minute. Um, yeah, also for anybody that watched my vlog um, last week, Jaden, I do apologise. I never know how far to go into the conversation and how much to say. And I know a couple of you guys mentioned, um, well, one of you guys mentioned, you know, um, is Jaden okay? And a couple of, of you guys also asked if Jaden was okay. There you go, beep, beep. Even though I pressed it, I knew it was coming. Um, just a quick update, if you're watching, then Jaden's fine, but he's been bullied at school. This is a school that we fought to get Jaden into for just over a year um, because it's a school that caters for children with learning disabilities and behavioural issues. Now, I'm not saying Jaden's an angel, you know, and if he's winding somebody up, then Jaden needs to learn to obviously deal with that. But my son is coming home and he's telling us things, things that I know usually wouldn't come out of, it, it's not Jaden basically. And when we're approaching the teachers, the teachers are saying that they'll look into it and then they're just, um, they're basically calling him a liar. So we're not happy. And it's to the point now where we're even second guessing our own child, you know. Um, and for the fact that, you know, he, he's got, he's, yeah, he, he's a child with disabilities. It's not fair. And no child should have to be bullied when they go to school. Um, so we do have a meeting with the school tomorrow, hopefully we'll get it sorted and then Jaden will be back in school from next week onwards because it's not fair, he's missing an education as well, you know, and it's upsetting his routine and everything, um, but I just don't want him going to school where his anxieties are high 
and you know he's, he's not happy so that's just a quick little update for Jaden. anyways i am going to go on my lovelies because honestly it is 20 to 3 and i've got a school run to do well, my husband's kindly going to do the school run kindly there is kids as well but not not honestly my husband's going to do the school run because he's been at work so he's not seen the kids and um, for a couple of days and this is frozen food and i need to get it all chucked and put away um I hope you're all well. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you fancy a chat, you know where I am in the comments. I would also be very, very grateful if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I'm over on Instagram. If you're not following me yet, why? No, I mean, if you're not on Instagram, then I understand. That's why. But if you are, please give me a look up and give me a follow. Um, and if you fancy a chat, I'll always reply in my DMs. Also, guys, again, if I don't reply... Um, to some of your messages and stuff it's not because I'm being ignorant it's because I can't find them yeah um, it, it's just unfortunately if so many messages come through and then I start to have a conversation with you and things and then other messages are coming through they tend to get lost um, but I eventually will find them and I'll probably answer like weeks down the line but again I, I, I am sorry if it takes me a little while but I'm not ignoring you honestly um, yeah so I'm going to go and I'm going to finish my cup of tea and I am going to also say don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to get this edited and it'll be up this evening for you. So yeah, take care. Lots of love. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Let's just say there's a few videos coming for this week because I've left it so late in the week. Um, I'm going to be quite busy so stay posted and <laughs> see you later.